Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. This is Sunday, March 26th, I believe. Maybe. Amazing day. Thank you. It is amazing. After Friday's floods, uh, Saturday, yesterday, man, the wind was just horrendous. There are people without power everywhere, trees blown down everywhere. I noticed a couple back there that are blowdowns. Um, sitting in the cabin last night, it was shaking. <laughs> so, I mean, it, I, I'm not afraid of it. It's not going to fall down or anything, but you could feel when some of them gusts hit. Holy crap. Man. But today makes up for it. And I got a couple projects completed already. Uh, one is the roof over the power shed. So I'm going to throw some video in of that real quick. Alright, so another project completed. I can't show you the, with the ladder, so I'm going to try to use the tripod and reach up there. Uh, this is the roof over the power shed. Now if you notice there's three different colors of roofing and different sizes because it's scrap. This entire shed has been built out of scrap material. I probably got five dollars in it between the nails and the screws. But yeah, it finally got its roof on. I get a better shot of it but again you know with shooting video for YouTube a lot of times I don't think about grabbing the camera grabbing tripods trying to set up for shots and do all that goofy kind of stuff so there you go the after shots <laughs> once again a lot of times I do this stuff, I don't think about setting up cameras. So I didn't video actually putting the roofing on. Just didn't think about it. But I got some after shots for you. So hopefully that'll work. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And then I have another one from Morgan's North Carolina Adventures. He's in my live streams all the time and comments on my videos and my Facebook. He sent me a solar powered uh, spotlight, you know, light for the cabin. And I got that installed and working. It's uh, going to light up all my, you know, my parking area. And when I'm not here, I can hit the cameras, check it out, and it'll all be lit. So thank you very much again. I can't say thank you enough for that. <laughs> All right. So what I've got here is a solar floodlight. Looks like a street light with its own solar panel and mounting rod and bracket to go on the side of the cabin. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers, Morgan's North Carolina Adventures, or Teddy. Uh... Can't tell you how much I appreciate this, buddy. This is going to come in so handy. Um, it's a dusk to dawn light. And it's like, I have the cameras out here. But at night, you know, you're stuck. <laughs> there is no light out here. This will do 1,500 square foot area. And it's going to do the parking area. And the path coming up to the driveway. Or up to the porch. So this light is going to be fantastic. So let's see what we have here. That's the solar panels. Ten watt, six volt solar panel. Yay! <laughs> and this thing it says if it gets the sunlight, it once it's charged. If it can get light, doesn't have to be direct sunlight, if it can get light for six hours a day, 
it will run for 15 hours. So, here's all the goodies. No idea. Hardware. <laughs> Batteries for the remote. And the light. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's like a street lamp. That is going to be awesome. 100 and no, 84 LEDs. That's what we have here. This obviously goes with the remote. An Allen key. So, I will be reading instructions on how to put this up to deal with. What's nice is. <laughs> The uh, solar panel attaches to the extension pole. It doesn't have to be screwed in separately somewhere else. So that's going to work out really well. All right. I'll be back. I think you set it for different times. All right. Three hours, five hours. So, here's the good news. There were no instructions. Here's the second news. There is no mounting hardware to screw this to the wall. You have no, I don't know what the hell these things are for. <coughs> I don't know what these are. I don't know where you would use that. <laughs> It's almost like they put the wrong hardware package in this box. <laughs> Without instructions. Yeah, and no instructions. But the good news is the light is charging. I mean, it's got four and a half lights on it. You know, the fifth one is blinking, so this thing will be fully charged. But let me make sure I can make this fit on the pole because those don't look like very long screws that are going to have to come out to let this slide in. Before I put this up, I want to make sure this will fit. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, shit. So that's... That's how it's going to sit on the wall. I, I'm assuming. <laughs> I know I'm taking a lot for granted here. But... We just put the roof on the power shed, and I've got these long sheet metal screw, roofing screws. And you know what? They fit. So guess what this is going to go on the side of the cabin with? You guessed it. <laughs> Then I gotta get in there and edit it. All right. Now let's put this baby on. Tighten it all back up. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Hold it and then click it. All right, Teddy, there it is, buddy. I like it. I think it's a great addition. This is pretty awesome. I am happy. Heck yeah. All right, folks, it's about 5 o'clock. Still beautiful. Let me show you the last project I completed. Once again, <laughs> I didn't shoot any video of doing the actual project. I'll show you what it was. And throw up some pictures of what I started with. Remember I told you I had gotten lazy and left out some preps. Some of my MREs and Ready Wise and Mountain House. And I didn't lock them up in the secure part of the barn. I left them out and let me tell you, the raccoons had a party. So today's project, one of today's projects, was get this barn all cleaned up again. Because you can see from the pictures, they had destroyed it. <laughs> they had themselves a hell of a party. So, if I can get in here, the sun is kind of messing up. But you can see... It's all picked up. It's all swept up. It's all taken out. <laughs> Everything is clean again. That's what I get for being lazy. You know. I think they were pissed off. Because they still can't get up on my raccoon proof table. Everybody says you can't outsmart a raccoon. When the cats were living in the barn here. I built that. They could not get up there and get the cat food. So, <laughs> bully for them. They were mad, I guess. But yeah, I got it all cleaned up finally. I'm happy. That was a lot of work. Four bags of garbage are in the back of my truck to take back into town. But holy crap. They had literally destroyed everything. This room, this little room here, had everything knocked down. Just, it was ridiculous. But it's cleaned up again. And there's nothing for them to get to. But yeah, it gives me a chance to show off my barn too. I gotta do a barn beam license plate video yet. But... Uh, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go in, get something to eat, kick back and watch some more of the madness of March. The uh, NCAA tournament, for those that don't know March Madness. But yeah, it was a good day today at St. Bernard Acres. Y'all should have been here. <laughs> <laughs> We'd had some fun. Man. Ah, it never ends. There's so much left to clean up. Good God. Man. I think, though, that's one of the things I love about it. It's never going to end. As long as I'm alive, I'll have stuff to do. I ain't never going to get bored. Anyway, the barn's clean. I'm happy. And then tomorrow night, I'll be doing my vlog from the uh, gas station. Oh, look at what came up. 
You wonder what time of year it is. Look at that. <laughs> Look what is popping up. How cool is that? Yeah. Going to be mowing out here pretty soon, it looks like. But I'm out.